Hello, my name is Ron Klaus. I'm with System Seals, and I'm the engineering manager. And my name is Kurt Sassmanshausen. I'm the R&D manager for System Seals. And this morning, uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about a process that we have, which we call our cylinder optimization, or COP process. This is a systematic engineering process where our engineering team will fully analyze a cylinder based on uh, parameters that are provided from our customers, uh, which allows us to look at the interactions between all of the sealing components, typically starting at the guidance and load bearing components, but then moving into uh, more advanced components such as the seals, the wipers, uh, and analyzing things such as friction and chemical compatibility as a result. Ron, when we do this cylinder optimization process, where does the engineering team normally start? Normally when working with customers, uh, we do engineering proposals as part of our service and value add at System Seals. So what we ask when we're working with the customers is to get a CAD file, usually a DXF or a DWG, of the assembly of the cylinder that they're working on. We normally will put together an engineering proposal drawing, but one of the questions that is always elusive er, is uh, what are the side loads with the cylinder? Does the customer know and do they have a quantifiable value as to what the side loads are? So that's a very difficult question to, to answer. So uh, the information that we get from the customer, the, the AutoCAD file allows us to grab the assembly put it into our AutoCAD system and we grab all the dimensions. These are the inputs for the cylinder optimization calculator where we can actually do the analysis. So after we run the analysis uh, through the, the mathematical calculator, uh, we will get quantifiable values of the bending of the cylinder. So we're actually taking the math and we're working backwards. So we can tell the customer what the capability of side load capacity, if you will, of that particular cylinder and then once we know the stresses applied to the guide bands from this side loading we can calculate the premium length of rod guide band and piston guide band. And so we know exactly what size guide bands they would need for the rod, for the piston, because we know how much bending the cylinder can actually do at maximum capacity. So as Ron mentioned in our COP analysis, one of the outputs from this process is bending or the deflection that we have within the cylinder. Uh, I can take that information and apply it to a secondary calculator and along with additional input variables such as the seal material, the temperature at which the seal is operating and the pressure that the seal is exposed to, determine if that seal is going to extrude or not extrude in the cylinder, not based on its nominal extrusion gaps, but based on the actual extrusion gaps that occur as a function of the bending of the cylinder. All of this has come out of research that we've done in our lab over a number of years, including physical experimentation and hundreds of finite element analysis simulations. And Ron, could you tell us, in the engineering department, when we get a request for a COP or a cylinder optimization process, is this, is this process in particular something that we charge for? You know, we pride ourselves in working with the customer and doing problem solving, and it really is a value add. This is a service that we do not charge for. We have really good relationships with a lot of our customers. A lot of them are engineers that directly contact us, our engineering department and if they're working on a design, we would normally put together a proposal drawing, so this is just another complimentary tool that we use as a value add. There is no charge for this service, so the customer can come to us uh, and we would be happy to do a cylinder optimization uh, analysis for their particular design. We're really working backwards to understand the mathematics. As you see here, the, the graphic on the, on the laptop here, we're seeing the bending uh, of the cylinder uh, this is mathematics um, that is unparalleled right now with, with anything out there. So the beauty about it is, is I no longer have to ask about what the side loads are in the application. We can basically tell you, the customer, what the side loads are for the, for the cylinder. And so we're looking at guide band optimization, getting the, the preferred uh, recommended guide bands for the rod and the piston, talking about extrusion as far as the seal is concerned, premium recommendation for the seal, and then finally, what is the frictional component of the whole cylinder, all of the components, piston seal, piston guide bands, rod guide bands, rod seal, wiper, everything that's involved creating friction, we can, can generate that. And at the end, when the 
cylinder optimization is done, when engineering is finished, the customer should expect the deliverables, the deliverable being the engineering proposal drawing, which shows all the groove dimensions, tolerances, lead-in chamfers, everything that is needed for the design engineer to spec in the sealing components. But the, the second component of the deliverable is the actual results from the cylinder optimization. So he's now going to get the proposal drawing, which is free. And then he's also going to get the cylinder optimization deliverable, which is, which is also free. The cylinder optimization process is a new service that we have been offering since the beginning of 2016. If it's a service that you think you or your company could benefit from using, please contact us at systemseals.com.